Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Mackenzie Nelson. If you're new here, um, I am traveling from Mexico to Peru. Right now, I am in Guatemala. I'm actually in the Lake Atitlan um, in Santa Cruz, but you guys will see that a bit later, but I was just in Antigua, Guatemala, and the reason I was there mostly was because I wanted to climb this world-famous volcano um, that overlooks another active volcano and I did it and I'm so glad I did it my muscles are so sore but this is the story time of me climbing the volcano so some statistics of this volcano is that we climb about 4,000 meters I believe to the base camp where you could also hike to the summit um, for sunrise the next morning. Um, so you're climbing through many different ecosystems. First it's farmland and that first two hours is probably one of the hardest because you're warming your muscles up and you're getting used to the altitude already. It's a big, big change from the bottom. And then it's the cloud forest, which was absolutely amazing. It was beautiful. And then it was the alpine forest. And then finally you get to the volcanic zone um, where like the base camp and summit is. So you kind of, the base camp is kind of between the alpine forest and the volcanic zone. Uh, but when you hike for sunrise, it is definitely volcanic rock and it's very hard to climb up. So a little background of Akatenango, which is the volcano you climb, it is not active, it's actually dormant. Um, and the last eruption was like in the 1970s, I believe. And since then it just has no signs of erupting anytime soon. But then you view Fuego, which is very, very active and it goes all night and all day long um, which is absolutely amazing to see but it's connected by this ridge and you could actually hike down the ridge back up to see fuego and then back again to the base camp that is the hardest part of the hike and my muscles were so so tired from the five hour hike already so i did not do this but i heard that if your muscles are up to it if you're capable of pushing yourself even further it is tremendously hard but so worth it because you get very very up close and personal with fuego and you're actually standing on fuego but it is super scary because you have only a small portion to stand on and then it's a comp complete drop and you hike back in complete darkness i went with ca travelers through the hostel somos which i found to be absolutely amazing and i loved it there love the hostel love the company she had an amazing story of her startup and an amazing story of her journey with ca travelers and i definitely recommend them another company that you could do it with is Wicho and Charlie's and Tropicana are also super popular and they're all around the same price of like 450 to 500 quetzales which is about 70 US dollars and you could also hire a porter to carry your backpack up the mountain for 150 and back down for 150 quetzales. So with CA Travelers they pick you up from your hostel, take you to their office where they give you all the supplies you need. They give you a um, like face mask wrap neck scarf kind of thing um, some ski gloves they give you a sleeping bag liner um, a backpack you could also rent for an additional charge you could also rent hiking boots they give you a really warm jacket any sweaters that you might need leggings that you might need a night torch or a headlamp and a lunch box with all the food you ever need it is so much food that they give you which is so great because when you get up that volcano you are so hungry so it is very much appreciated that they give you so much food <laughs> and they tell you everything you need of how you get up the volcano what kind of ecosystems you're going through how much longer you need to push for what the train is going to be like um, which really 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 is motivating and keeps you sane of like okay just make it to that marker just make it to that marker because it is a very hard hike but then when you get to the base camp they give you a warm hot chocolate with real cacao from Guatemala and you sit by the fire and just watch fuego explode over and over and over again and when it gets really really dark you could see the explosion with the lava and it just drips down the side of the volcano and you could hear the hot rocks like running down the volcano and it sounds like really hard rain absolutely incredible they also do have bathrooms up there for you and they have a two-person tent so the tent sleeps too and you're giving 
left some padding from the floor, a mattress, sleeping bag, and a pillow. And then you're also given a blanket to put in the sleeping bag. Um, again, every company is different. Some have cabins, some have tents, but they make sure that you are super warm. And they put a lot of um, layers in between you and the ground so you're super warm. They have lots of uh, wind coverage and everything. So don't worry, you do stay warm all night long. They also give you plenty of water so you don't need to bring any extra water to carry because they give you a camelback of three liters, which is like more than enough, but you do need to make sure that you're drinking sips and sips and sips as you climb the volcano because the altitude will really mess with you. It hurt a lot of people in my group, including me um, at some points. It was really difficult to breathe. I just felt like I was out of breath every second and your body is just trying to get used to that new climate. Overall, I really hope that you get to come to Antigua, Guatemala and climb Acatenango because it is an incredible experience. I'm still really speechless and I have so many words yet, not any words at all for how incredible this experience is and it's just like really hard to comprehend that you're on a volcano watching a volcano explode camping on it it's just a crazy thing um, it is a very very hard hike so make sure that your muscles are up for it and ready for it but it is an incredible push to the top and totally worth it so I really hope you get to come do this and I really hope you come to Guatemala because so far it has been absolutely amazing and I have loved it so much. I will be staying here for I think it's about another three weeks, so about two more weeks um, in Guatemala and I'll see you guys in the next one at Lake Aptogland. Okay, bye! <laughs> First stop came to San Marcos and I met the most amazing people. I love my life. Don't know if I was aware a piece was missing.